Well, turns out more people are falling out of love with dating apps and looking for other ways to make a connection. Bradley Blackburn has more on how speed dating is making a comeback. On a Monday night in Manhattan, the back room at Pando Park was packed with people, all looking for a connection. We'll meet someone to date. Like many here, Jonathan Cummings is tired of dating apps and sees value in being face-to-face -face instead of swiping on a screen. You can look at their body language, you can see if they smile at my silly joke, you know, and that means a lot. The only phone in sight... Here we go with round two was a six-minute timer from host Stacey Harris with speed dating company My Cheeky Date. Everybody gets to meet everybody. I say you can talk to anyone for six minutes. This company hosts speed dating here in New York and in cities across the country and around the world. There are plenty of people looking for love offline. According to Eventbrite, attendance at in-person singles and dating events grew more than 40 percent last year. The number of events was up more than 60% compared to before the pandemic. Dating fatigue is a real thing. Maria Abgatidas is a professional matchmaker and Eventbrite's dating expert. She's found Gen Z is even more skeptical about meeting on apps. Are you using an AI-generated photo online to get the swipes? Or is this photo slightly blurry, clearly a person, clearly real, no filters? Gen Z is showing us that they've grown up in a digital world they're seeking more analog dating interactions. At speed dating, a spark can happen fast, sometimes not in the way you'd imagine. Jawan Kim is still looking for Mr. Right, but has found some new friends. The first two times, I met a lot of cool girlfriends. <laughs> um, nothing romantic has blossomed, but maybe third time's a charm. A silver lining in the search for love. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.